Hi, Mr. Rivera. Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. What about you? Great. I'm fine as well. Thank you very much for asking. I'm all right. Tell me, uh, how was your day? Did your family celebrate par, uh, the, the Father's Day, El Día del Padre? Uh, yes. Uh, we buy a, uh, ¿cómo se dice pastel? Ah, a cake. Oh, a cake. Right. Okay, a cake. Awesome. Very good. That sounds really, really good. Okay. Are you working tomorrow? Uh, yes. Okay. I, I'm going to work. Oh, but, but it's really nice that you have a little bit of a celebration, right? So I'm happy to hear that. Ceci, hello. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. And that's really nice to, to, to hear. Jennifer, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi, and you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, Ceci. Hasta ahora escuché su audio. So, le, le también mandé feedback. So, okay. espero que lo haya visto. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No lo vi. Ah, yes. Hasta ahora. All right. So, no thank you, everybody, for being here. We are going to get started today. We are going to practice countable and uncountable nouns. So, we are going to identify them. Okay. And also, we are going to be able to use some and any uh, when identifying them. So, hold on a second. Para iniciar, so we can get started today, vamos a ver un pequeño video. All right. We are going to watch a video. Algunos creo que ya lo han visto. Otros todavía no han llegado acá en la plataforma, así que no worries. So, this is countable and uncountable. First. ¿Qué se les viene a la mente? What do you understand? ¿O qué es lo que creen? Uh, ¿Qué es lo que se les ocurre cuando escuchen countable and uncountable nouns? Any taker? Any volunteer? Um, ¿Qué son nombres contables y no contables? Ok, contables y no contables. Thank you. Yes, Daniel. Um, it's when uh, we are going to talk about Oh, we are going to count and uh, for example, meal is no, no count, uh, apple is count. Okay, 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 very good. So actually, yes, son los que podemos, contables y no contables, los que podemos contabilizar, right? The ones that we can say, well, in English, utilizamos la palabra pluralizar, pluralize, okay? Los que podemos hacer plurales. So, eh, veamos este video, like super, super quick. All right. Tomemos nota and uh, let me, oh, hold on a second. Solo me confirman si escuchan el audio, please. Let me, eh, let me know if you're able to, to listen to the audio. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what... ¿Escucharon? Did you hear that? Yes, okay. Okay, great. Very good. Give me just a second. Let me play this. Y tomamos nota, please. What count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's start by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. So first, everybody, listen and repeat. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Okay, everybody, let's repeat. What do you want for a picnic? What do, what you, do you want, want for, for the picnic? What do you want for business? For picnic. Mm. picnic. <laughs> how about picnic. Some sandwiches? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Mm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, <laughs> but we don't have any bread. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Okay, okay. we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Have any bread. Okay, okay. And we don't have any cheese. 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 
Ok. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. ¿Me logran escuchar bien? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Lo que sucede es que no, no, I don't know. Algo está pasando. I guess it's my microphone. Escucho un poco distorsionado. All right. Si no me escuchan bien, please let me know. Ok. Let's continue. Please. Do we have any drinks? Do we have any drinks? Do we have any, have any drinks? No, we need some. No, we need some. No, we need some. No, we need some. Right? Let's get some lemonade. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. 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 And let's buy some potato salad. And let's buy some potato let's, salad. Let's buy, let's buy some, some potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Sure. Potato salad. Sure. Everybody likes potato salad. Sure. Everybody likes sure, potato everyone. salad. Sure. Likes potato salad. Yes, okay, very good memory. So, sure, everybody likes potato salad. Sure, everyone, everyone likes, likes potato, potato salad. salad. Okay, everybody, tell me, um, what type of food do, did you identify from this conversation? ¿Qué tipo de food Les... or drinks can you name? Cheese. Cheese. Ah, El queso, la ensalada de papa. In English, come cheese. on, in English, in English. Mm -hmm. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Uh -huh. Chicken. The sandwich, potato, potato, potato salad. Potato salad. Lemonade. Cheese, the lemonade. And... Okay. Bread. Bread, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Bread, yo. Ok, ok, muy bien, exactly. Now, quiero decir un par o unos sándwiches. ¿Cómo digo unos sándwiches? Son sándwiches. Son sándwiches. Muy bien, son sándwiches. Um, quiero preguntar si le gustaría um, alguna bebida. So, ¿Cómo pregunto? Te, ¿Quieres alguna bebida? ¿O tenemos bebida? Do you want any drink? Do you want any drink? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want any drink? Would you like any drink? Or do we have any drinks? Yes, tenemos alguna bebida. So, let's take a look at their refrigerator. Bye, bye. ¿Qué tienen? What do they have? Chicken. They chicken? have chicken. Potatoes. And potatoes? Potato? Y nada más, okay. <laughs> so, chicken, potatoes, and probably that's it, okay? No tienen queso, no tienen bebidas, it looks like. Okay, so for them. Now, sigamos escuchando el, el order. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and uncount nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids. Chicos, lo escuchan cortado. Con interferencia, sí. Sí, bastante. Uh, ok, ok. So, let me, let me go ahead. Maybe it's my, uh, my previous video that is being converted. Ok, it's ok. So, let me explain this part of count and non-counts. As you listen in the video, todos los nouns son personas, places, and things. Right? Cualquier cosa, anything. Countable nouns son los que podemos pluralizar. All right? A los que le agregamos la letra S to make plural. Or a S, okay, to make plural, etc. So when we say, for example, one, one egg, two eggs, three eggs, significa que es un countable noun. No se puede hacer eso siempre, right? Non-countable nouns. ¿Qué sucede con los non-count? La característica principal es que no se le puede agregar S, all right? Bread es pan, okay? Pero si yo quiero decir panes, no se puede decir breads. No, no existe la palabra en inglés, ¿ok? So, bread, oh, okay. y eso es todo. El plural de bread, no hay. Entonces, ya vamos a ver la forma como lo puedo pluralizar sin pluralizar, ¿ok? Lemonade. 
es un líquido, ¿all right? Yo no puedo decir eh, one lemonade, two lemonades, pero sí puedo decir un vaso de lemonade, ¿ok? O un poco de lemonade. So, this is the idea of non-countable. Todos los líquidos son non-count. ¿Me pueden ayudar con líquidos? What do you understand by liquid? Milk. Tenemos lemonade, so wine, milk, coffee, soda, water, wine, coffee, coffee, water, water, um, so, todos ellos, soda. All right. Yes, todos ellos son considerados non-count. All right. Now, something very specific. Revisamos la, el chart. Uh, it says, I am eating an egg. So, me estoy comiendo un huevo, right? Let's get some <laughs> bread. Uh, take a look at this. Dijimos que no se puede pluralizar bread. No se puede. There is no way. Okay? So, lo que hacemos es agregar palabras que me ayuden um, to, como a tener una idea de cantidad. For example, some. Okay? Let's get some. Un poco de pan. Or, si sería mucho, a lot of bread. Let's a get a lot, a lot of bread. Yes. Ya vamos a practicar. No worries. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. ¿Cuál es una característica? Let's take a look. Let's recap. Countable nouns se les puede agregar. Eh, se pueden pluralizar. ¿Ok? Non-count nouns nunca se van a pluralizar. Por lo tanto, non-count nouns siempre van a ser singulares. Bread is. No se puede decir bread are. Or breads are. ¿Ok? Esta es la forma para todos los non-count nouns. Um, are we okay so far? ¿Preguntas? Repítame okay. todo otra vez que no lo entendí mucho. Ah, oh, okay. ok. Ok, ok. Sure, yes, no problem. So, eh, la característica más grande de los countable nouns es que se pueden pluralizar o se pueden contar. Ok. So, countable nouns, yo vengo y digo ex. Sandwich, digo sandwiches. Déjenme compartirles another... Screen. Give me just a second. Les voy a compartir mi whiteboard. Okay. Um, so let's take a look. Comenzamos con countable nouns. Okay. Count. So countable nouns son todos aquellos que tienen la característica de pluralizar. Y vimos que un noun puede ser people. Okay. Place. Okay. Um, objects, animals, etc., etc. Things. Oh my goodness. Okay. Things. So. Um, imagínense que vamos a describir su refrigerador, ¿all right? Y vamos a ver qué es lo que tienen varios, ¿ok? Cosas que tienen en plural. Uh, o cosas que podemos contar. So, de su refrigerador, ¿qué podemos contar? What can we count? Fruit. Fruit. Uh, okay. but, but be very specific. Bien específico. De apple, lo que decir, one, two, three, okay? Apples. Okay, bananas. Bananas, pero ahorita lo que tiene, right? The things tomato. that you have. Okay. Tomato, Apple, banana, uh, tomato. Potatoes. Potato. Potatoes. Okay. Um, onion. Okay, onion. Carrot. ¿Qué más tiene? Carrot. Okay, thank you. Tengo whiskeyles. I have chayotes. Okay. I have chayotes. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Okay. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, este... Maybelline. No, avocados. Oh, no. oh, okay, 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 very good. So, avocados. Now, let's take a look. Uh, okay. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a comenzar y vamos a pluralizar. They, all of them, are singular. Okay? Vamos a pluralizarlos. So, apple, le agrego S, apples. Banana, bananas. Bananas. Tomato. Tomatoes. Okay, vamos a poner atención here. Cuando termina en una O. All right? I do this. Tomatoes. Potato. Termina en una O. Potatoes. Onion. Oh, onions. Carrot. Carrots. Chayote. Chayotes. Avocado. ¿Qué le agrego? What do I have? S. Yes. Or ES. Yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. 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 So, by saying something like this, okay, by doing this, yo ya estoy diciendo los plurales. I am already making them plural. So, I can come and I can say uh, two apples, three apples, four apples, etc., etc., okay? Now, vamos a la parte de uncountable nouns, okay? Uncountable nouns. All right. Now, with uncountable nouns, there is a little something here. Okay, just one second. Okay. In uncountable nouns, in my refrigerator, yo siempre tengo water, okay? So I have water. Yesterday, all right, eh, 
también puse el azúcar. I put some sugar in my refrigerator. Porque si no le llegan las hormiguitas, ¿ok? Um, what else? ¿Qué más tienen? In the, in the refrigerator. ¿Alguien tiene pan? Do you have bread? Or azúcar, mm -hmm. salt. No? Milk. Milk. Ok, milk. Very good. Milk. Thank you. ¿Qué más tienen? ¿Líquidos? Do you have any liquid? Juice. Soda. Oh, okay. Juice. 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 Like, juice, what? Soda. Orange? Orange juice? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mandarina juice. Oh, ok. Ma uh, orange or uh, tangerine. Jagger. Tangerine. Ok. Tangerine juice. Yogurt, okay. Okay, yogurt, thank you. Now, ¿qué sucede con estos? A estos, these and countable nouns, nunca se les agrega ese, all right? For example, soda, sí se puede sodas, pero cuando hablamos como de la lata, all right? Como, uh, uh -huh. bien, siendo bien específico, uh -huh. but otherwise, mm -mm, we don't do this. So, ¿cómo lo vamos a pluralizar? Let me explain this part. Podemos utilizar, en vez de waters, vamos a utilizar some water. Y cuando decimos some, uh -huh. estoy diciendo un poco de, ¿ok? Some water, un poco de agua. Tengo un poquito de azúcar, all right? I have some sugar. Now, ¿Mira? yes, exactly. Vamos a utilizar a little para decir poquito, ¿ok? But we are also going to use... A lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a usar to, some, all right, y vamos a usar a lot of, so, en ese orden, a little, a un poquito, of, um, some, and a lot of. I have, um, for example, water, yo sí tengo un poco de agua, no tengo mucho. I have some water in my refrigerator, okay. Sugar, de hecho, es poquita el azúcar que tengo. I have a little sugar. Okay, tengo un poco de azúcar. Milk. Um, I have some milk. Tengo un poco de, all right? I have, ¿quién tiene orange juice? Who has orange juice? Orange juice. Juice. A lot of. A lot, okay. Okay, a lot of orange juice. Okay. Soda. I have some soda. Okay, un poco de. And the yogurt, so you can also say I have some yogurt. The idea is que no se van a pluralizar, ¿ok? No se les va a agregar ese, sino que vamos a usar these three words para hablar de cantidades. Are you following me? Yes, teacher. Ok, thank yes. you. Chicos, ¿cómo vamos los demás? Do you want me to repeat? ¿Estamos bien? Are we ready to practice? Solo una duda, teacher. Maybelline, go. Y uno que gusta en el... A bit. Oh, a bit of. Yes, uh -huh. of course. Um, estos son como los más comunes. A little, some, and a lot of. Luego, más adelante van a ver que hay muchos más. For example, a bit of. Okay. Or a little bit. No sé si he escuchado a little bit. A, a bit. little bit. Or a bit a of. Bit. Uh -huh. También, a a, también a las personas utilizan a little bit para decir un poquito, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, uh -huh. uh, are you sick? A little bit, un poquito, mm -hmm. but a bit, un pedacito de. Mm -hmm. eh, escuché a alguien más, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Uh, we can use way to. Excuse me? Uh, we can use way to. Way too much. Yeah. Yes. Yes, but uh, just hold on a second. Son bastantes. There are a lot. But vamos a comenzar little by little, viendo como los más comunes, so we get used to, y luego podemos incrementar, all right? So, right now we are going to use a little, some, and a lot of. First, les voy a mostrar, I'm going to show uh, some pictures, okay? And I want you to tell me que ven. Contable or uncountable? Hold on a second. Mm. I'm sorry, creo que les va a dar un poco de hambre. All right, take a look at this. So, we will be able to identify countable and uncountable words, okay? Uh, let's get ready. Uh, coffee, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. 
Uncountable. Uncountable or non-countable. Ambas están bien. Okay. No, no puedo decir coffees, pero sí puedo decir, let's repeat, a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Yes. What about this one? Countable or non-countable? Countable. 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 Sí las puedo contar. One, two, three. But there is a little something. Hay demasiadas. There are too many. No las voy a contar. ¿Cómo digo algunas? How do you say algunas? Um, um, some, some, some bananas. bananas. Very good. Some bananas. So uh, there are bananas. some bananas. No es necesario there decir el número. Bananas. Yes, there are some bananas. So bananas. What is this? Well. Uncountable. Oh, let's take a look. Uncountable. It's jam. Of jam. Okay. Como no Con puedo contabilizar jalea. jam, no puedo decir una jalea, dos jaleas. All right. Utilizo uh -huh. a spoon, una cucharadita. A spoon of jam. Okay. So, a utilizamos spoon. containers. What is this? Oil. Uncountable. Uncountable. Yes. Un no puedo decir entonces oil. Oh. Yes, yes. A lot of oil. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Cómo ah, sería el aceite? Okay. Yeah, can you repeat? Oh. Oh, two um, bottles of oil. Yeah, yes. Okay. So this is two bottles, exactly. Uh -huh. Two bottles of oil. Yes. I'm sorry, se me fue una L, es una T, right? So imagínense que trazamos una línea. So two bottles of oil, all right? <coughs> so no le agregamos S. Help, help, tell me. There are three apples. There are three apples. Countable, yes. There are three apples. Okay, good. What about this one? Uncountable. Uncountable, yes. Very good. Okay, okay. There we go. Excellent. What is this? Tea. Tea. Uncountable. Uncountable? A cup of tea. A cup. Okay, okay, perfect. Yes, I like it. So, a cup of tea. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm on, a, I'm on a diet. So, this is, you know, horrible. Okay, take a look at this. What is this? A, a cake. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, or, it actually, actually, this is kind of tricky. Porque lo que estamos contando son las piezas, all right? Como el pedacito. So we say a piece of cake, all right? ¿Cómo se, cómo, cómo se le llama a eso? A piece of cake. Okay, and which one? Uh, que he escuchado que son así como unas palabras, como dice. This is an English sí, sí. <coughs> O give the extra mind. No sé cómo se le llaman a esas palabras. <coughs> oh, ah, you, you mean cuando, idioms. Cuando, Idioms, ajá. You mean idioms. Lo que Daniel está preguntando es porque en inglés hay una expresión que dice, oh, that's a piece of cake. So, a piece uh -huh. of cake significa que fácil, all right? Like, cuando oh, ven right. a la plataforma y ven el examen, all right? Eh, y ustedes dicen, no, hombre, sí está bien fácil. So, that's a piece of cake. So, a piece of cake <laughs> es un pedazo de pastel, but también significa bien fácil, ¿ok? <laughs> so, this is why. Um, what is no, this? Como... Como un dicho. Potato, sí, es un snacks. dicho. Uh -huh. Como okay. cuando uno dice pan comido. Exactly, exactly. Similar. Hay otra palabra salvadoreña que no voy a mencionar, but we say yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but yes, pan comido. That, or right. super fácil. Okay. Uh, then we have, okay, chips. Okay, or crisps. Some chips. Some chips. Um, but, como dijimos que no las vamos a contabilizar, all right? No vamos a decir una, dos, tres. So we can say some. Okay. <laughs> What is this? Pineapple. pineapple. Very good. So, a pineapple. A, a, pineapple. Pineapple. a pineapple or a pineapple. A pineapple. So, a pineapple. it is countable. Oh, look at this. Oh, countable. Countable. Some carrots. Excellent. But, puedo decir some, que son algunas, but to be honest with you, yo veo muchas. A lot of, a lot of carrots. Many, many okay, many. So there are many carrots, como muchas, muchas, demasiadas, más de las que necesito, or there are a lot of carrots, okay? Or some carrots. Then we have French fries, okay? French fries. What is this? Some French salad, fruit salad. Fruit, fruit salad. salad. Oh, okay, 
So this can be a glass, a right? A glass Como un vaso, a glass of fruit salad, salad. or it puede ser un bowl, all right? A bowl of fruit salad. A bowl. Okay. Oh, this is tang. Okay. Liquids. <laughs> <laughs> what about liquids? Two cups. Uh, two glasses. Okay. <laughs> two. Uh -uh. Two glasses. Let's take a look. Two glasses. Exactly. Two glasses. glasses. All right. Uh, Dos vasos. Glasses two glasses. A great a glass. A es un vaso. Juice. A great juice. Okay. Or, um, okay. Or two glasses of tang. Okay, use. <laughs> no. I was going to make fresh talk, but I think tank is better. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this one. Okay. What uh, do you say? A sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Okay. One sandwich. Okay, very good. A sandwich. A sandwich. What about this? Uh, some ice, ice cream. cream. Some ice cream. Some ice cream. Some ice very ice cream. good. Some, exactly. Some ice cream. Yes. Some ice cream. What about yes. them? Some, some grapes. Right. Some grapes. Some grapes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Many grapes. Whatever. Actually, yeah. Some Depende right. como se lo vea, right? Some grapes. Okay. This is a, uh, a toast. For me, a little grapes. A toast. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, with grapes, no es uncomfortable. Entonces, ya vamos a ver porque cambia un poquito. It changes. No podemos... Vamos a usar en vez de a little, algo más, okay? We have a toast. Okay. Milk. Uh, some milk. Some milk. milk. ¿Cómo digo un poquito de milk? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little A bottle. A bottle. Okay. Okay. Very good. A bottle of milk. How do you call them? Um, I see in a games. Uh, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> mushrooms. They are mushrooms. mushrooms. No, okay. No, no, no. So mushrooms. Si se fijan, some, some mushrooms. Okay. Algunos. Some mushrooms. We have also onions. Okay. So we have three onions. Three onions. Okay. They are. What is the plural? Orange. 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 Oranges. Orange. And the plural is oranges. Oranges. Okay. Orange. Okay. Uh, we have egg. Or egg. Orange. An egg. And then we have oh, one orange. egg or eggs. So, pretty much, that is the idea with countable and uncountable nouns. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Algo que was not clear for you at the beginning? Or are we ready yeah. to continue? Ready to continue. Ready to continue. Ready to continue. Ah, ready to continue. Lo que de, las, de las uvas, Ah, oh, thank you Era very much. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Okay, uh, where is my screen? Okay, yes, that's a very important question. Thank you, Jennifer, for reminding. Okay, um, at the beginning, les mencioné con uncountable, vamos a utilizar a little, some, and a lot of, okay, para hablar de cantidades. Here, in countable, se parecen. Sin embargo, cambia un poquito. Uh, let, me, let me explain how, okay? Okay. Here, vamos a utilizar some, otra vez, and that's okay. Vamos a utilizar a lot of, okay? A lot of, a lot of apples, a lot of oranges, some apples, some oranges. Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando son un número poquito? Ya no puedo utilizar a little, porque no es como, um, no es un líquido, all right? En vez de little, yo voy a utilizar a few. A few. En a few significa unas pocas. Es como unas menor pocas, cantidad, uh -huh. pero con contables. Unas cuantas. So, de, unas cuantas, ¿ok? So, si de, quiero decir, por ejemplo, en mi refri hay poquitas bananas, no puedo decir a little. A few of bananas. Sino a few, a few bananas. Bananas. A few yes. bananas. A few bananas. Son a few bananas. bananas. A lot of bananas, yes. So, for example, in my refrigerator, I creo que dos o tres limones, okay? There are a few a lemons. Few lemons. Exactly. Yeah. So, a few es para decir mm -hmm. pocos, pero cuando son contables. And a little es para decir poco, all right? Pero cuando son incontables. Are we okay? Okay. okay. Yes? Okay. It's clear? Está claro? Un poquito más o menos. Ya estamos un poquito más claro. Okay. Yeah. 
Perfect, that's okay. So everybody, listen up. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I want you to stand up, okay? Quiero que se levanten de donde están sentados por dos minutos. Vayan a su refri, go to your fridge, all right? Y escriban lo que tienen, ¿ok? Y si hay algo que no saben cómo decirlo, Google it, ¿ok? Right? Y si no, invéntenselo. That's fine. It's ok. So, tienen dos minutos. You have two minutes. Ok. Daniel, ¿para okay. dónde va? <laughs> two minutes, everybody. Escribamos una descripción de qué tienen. What do you have in your refrigerator? ¿Ok? Hagamos oraciones. There is a little, there are some, etc. Two minutes. Ay, me va a ayudar a pagar la cuenta. No la va a tener abierta, don't worry. It's like super quick. One more minute. Okay, everybody, are we ready? Are we okay? Are we ready? Registering really quick. Give me a second, miss. Okay, okay, you're fine. I am ready. Thank you, Jennifer. Sarah, Maybelline, Ceci, what about Hi. you, Daniel? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, excellent. That sounds good. Okay, very good. So, everybody, vamos a hacer grupos. We are going to make smaller groups. Y vamos a contarles un poquito qué es lo que tienen, all right? Um, se va vale a inventar, Miss. guys. No problem. So, you can definitely mention more things. Bye. Mr. Carrillo, Voy. tell me. Eh, yo tengo acá eh, dos latas de chile jalapeño en raja. Ok. <ríe> eh, super... Esas como las puedo... Okay. ¿Perdón? Super específic. Yo pensé que me iba a decir, tengo dos rajas de chile jalapeño. La super específica. Okay. No, pues okay. sí, es que aquí hay que saber con cuidadito. <ríe> Un poquito, ok, no decía. Ahorita se lo comparto en el chat. No se preocupe, that's ok. So everybody, okay. um, antes de irnos al, al uh, chat, are we clear? Lo que vamos a hacer, solo vamos a compartirle al compañero, right? Lo que tienen, what you have. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, perfect, that's okay. So um, everybody, let's join the groups. Uh, we are going to go for five minutes y luego regresamos. Ya se lo comparto, Joel. Okay, so everybody, please go. Let's join the groups.
no. No, no estoy tan bien allá, pero estoy enferma de la otra vez. No sé si hay manifestadas en orange, orange juice. Um, no hay de verde fruta. Just, just of apple, orange. Like, uh, hi, mm. hello there. Like, ¿qué tanto? How much? Like, ajá, ¿qué tanto? No lo puedo contar. No, no, no me alcanzan no. dos minutos. No, <laughs> no, no, yes, yes, I know, I know, I understand. No, what happens is this. Um, para no contar como decir un número exacto, right? En vez de decir one, two, three, podemos utilizar esto de a little, some, a few, y eso le ahorra mucho tiempo. So, the idea is no mm. necesariamente eh, contarlo en ser específico, puede inventárselo, ok? You can make up a okay. little bit, or podemos decir solo some, there are some, there are a mm. lot, ok? So, esa es la idea, pretty much. Uh -huh. And there are many soda. And, and a few water. And there are some juice, juice of orange and apple and pera. ¿Cómo se dice pera? Awesome. Okay. Very good. Very good. No, you're good. Okay. I like it. Thank you. Um, all right. Teacher. Yes. How, how do you say hielo, pero... El hielo de las bolsitas que están en el refrigerador sería solo ice. Yeah, maybe ice cubes, como cubitos. Doing. Um, do you have an equation for me? O están súper bien como utilizar los, los quantifiers, com, um, countable and countable. Is there apareció any... una, apareció una, una duda en esta botella. Uh, what's the question? Uh, yo creo que el toro go será que quede parecido ahí. <risa> Teníamos una duda con, con, con Sara. Right. Era de que, digamos, este es una bottle of water. But okay. the, bottle, the bottle of water, I have a half bottle of water. A little bit of water. Mm, no, no. Decir, oh, I have a little water. Yes. A few okay. water. No, 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 no. All right, hold on. No, no la tengo completa. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, o, o siempre sigue siendo una botella de agua. Okay, wait, wait. Hold Estaba on. Así no sigue siendo una <laughs> botella de agua. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold, okay, hold on a second. La botella de agua sigue siendo botella, right? Uh, el container, okay. el container se puede cambiar. O sea, puede decir one bottle, two bottles, three bottles, y ahí sigue, right? So, uh -huh. lo que cambia es la cantidad de agua que usted puede tener. Entonces, Ajá, para los, para los um, para uncountable mí. nouns, yo puedo utilizar a little, puedo utilizar some y puedo utilizar a lot of. So, a little sería, por ejemplo, abajo de la viñeta, right? Ahí donde dice 100, 60 Ajá. miligramos, Ajá. creo. All right, so, exactly. so, abajo de la viñeta para mí es como a little, es como un poquito de agua, right? Okay. So, si tiene como hasta la mitad, para mí es some water. There is some water. So, no, no se compliquen decir como, sí se puede decir dos cuartos, tres cuartos, etc. But, pero no es como relevante, no es necesario. It's like a house. No, a lo que me refería, que si no está completa, ya no es una botella de agua completa. O sea, it's a... No no water. Lo que sucede es esto, cuando usted dice there is a bottle of water, a usted no le interesa como mucho la cantidad, sino que el, el contenedor en sí. El, el contenedor es entonces. Yes, se refiere al contenedor. Es como cuando dice, quiero café, ¿alright? 
I want some coffee. I want some coffee. Pero significa que usted está poniéndole atención a la cantidad de café. Permítame un segundo. Jennifer volvió. Ah. So, pero cuando dice, por ejemplo, I want a cup of coffee, no es tanto cuánto le quepa a la, a la taza, right? Sino es como el contenedor. Nos enfocamos en el container. Like how big the mm -hmm. container is. Cerca de lo que yo me quiero referir. Of course. For example, yo le puedo decir, tengo dos botellas. I have two bottles of soda in my refrigerator. Pero no le digo que están vacías. So I'm, I uh -huh. focus, okay, in the bottle, en el contenedor. It's different if I tell you, I have some soda in my refrigerator. No, no importa si están en un vaso, si están en cualquier contenedor, me estoy enfocando en que hay un poco de soda, all right? So esa uh -huh. es la diferencia. That's pretty much la, la gran diferencia. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank okay. you. Ok, Thank you're you. welcome. Um, ¿Estamos listos para volver? Are we ready to, to go back? ¿Ya practicaron? Yes. Do you practice enough? Yes. Uh, well, no, yes. <laughs> no, yet. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yesterday, alguien me dijo, yes, um. <laughs> What's that? So, come on, it's a yes right now. Okay. Y entonces, uh, Miss, ¿cómo decimos lata de... De jalapeño. Oh, no, yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Estaba pendiente de, de la respuesta, right? It's a, it's a can. Las latas siempre van no, a claro, ser. No, claro, ajá. Yo okay. sé que lata es can, pero eh, refiriéndose a los chiles jalapeño, así se van. Um, no. En el buen castellano. No. You can say a can of pickled pepper. Okay. Oh, sorry, pickled. Pickled pepper. Se me fue el okay. spelling. No, sorry, se me fue el spelling. Okay, a can of pickled pepper, okay. De hecho, hay un trabalengua con eso, so, but that's the word. Ajá, sí, es que yo recordaba de, pero <ríe> me acordaba del traba, de que había un trabalengua, no de cómo iba. That's a can of pickled pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos para afuera entonces. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, okay, thank you very much for coming back. Creo que me falta alguien. I think I'm missing somebody. Daniel. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but he's here. No, me falta alguien. I'm missing somebody. Okay, so I hope that person can join. So, revisando really quick, summon any, all right, para poder describir qué es lo que tenemos en la refrigeradora. So, first, some utilizamos para algo, all right? Mm -hmm. We use it for quantities, okay? Quantity, amount, ambas palabras significan cantidades, all right? Quantity or amount. Some and any, we use it when the exact number is not known. Cuando yo no sé cuántos tenga. Alguien me decía, pero es, no puedo contarlos, okay? I'm not able to count them. It's okay. Solamente digo, some. Y está bien, that's fine. No es necesario contar. The exact number is not important. No quiero saber el número, solo quiero saber que hay o que no hay, ¿ok? Pretty much we use some and any for that. Some, eso es bien importante. Lo usamos para positive sentences, ¿ok? There are some apples on the table, ¿ok? There is some water in the glass. Si se fijan, el primero es contable, el segundo es no contable, pero se usan igual, ¿ok? La única diferencia es que este es plural, obviamente este no puede ser plural. So there are some apples. There is some water in the glass. Como lo que me preguntaba el último grupo. There is some water in the glass. ¿Ok? Se había agua en la botella. Or en el vaso, in this example. Now, any. ¿Para qué utilizamos some? One more time. Para positive, para negative. Para alguno, para, para positivo. ¿Cuándo usamos some? From para positive questions. Positive sentences. Positive sentences. Yes, we use some for positive sentences. Any, lo usamos para questions and negative sentences. Okay? Por ejemplo, question. Are there any apples in the basket? Are there any apples in your refrigerator? ¿Alguien tenía manzanas? Are there any apples? Mm, I have no, manzana. no, I don't. Okay, Daniel has apples. And the others? I don't have apples. Nadie tenía apples, nobody else. No. Okay. Yo tengo creo que mameyes y mangos. So there are some mangos. Yo tengo un guacal entero de mm -hmm. <laughs> Awesome. That's really good. Okay. Uh, next question. Is there any milk 
In the refrigerator. In the fridge. Okay. Is there any milk? ¿Alguien tenía leche? Is there any no. milk? I don't have milk. Some. Ah, some milk. Eh, Sarah eh, has some milk. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Nobody else? Nobody else? And Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer, tell me some milk. Jenny? A, a bottle of milk. Yes, I have some milk. Oh, okay. So, Sarah and Jennifer. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now, negativas. So, en negativas, any, lo utilizo para enfatizar. There aren't any apples in the basket. In my case, there aren't any apples in the refrigerator. There isn't any milk in the fridge. Esta aplica para mí. No tengo leche. There isn't any milk. Um, no, tengo, no tengo soda. There isn't any soda in my fridge. What there about you guys? There isn't any soda. <laughs> What about you guys? There isn't There's any no milk. No okay. Soda. Thank you, Mr. Carrillo. ¿Quién más? Anybody else? ¿Qué es lo que no tenían en la refri que se recuerden? Uh, there isn't any sodas. Okay. There isn't any soda. Thank you. ¿Alguien más? Any fruit. Thank you, Jennifer. There isn't any fruit. Okay. Ceci, algo que no tengas? There isn't any soda. Okay. Hey, very good. You're so healthy. Okay. Son bien saludables, guys. And that's good. Now, I have some exercises for you. Y terminamos con los ejercicios. This will be the last activity for today. Some or any. ¿Cuál de los dos utilizamos? Which of them are we going to use? Number one, I have some or any. What do you think? Recordemos, some, some es para some. positivos, any some. es para negativos y preguntas. So number one. I have some I apple. have some apples. I have any people. apples. Okay. Um, so you said some. 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 Any. Okay, some. Ya vamos some. a revisar, no problem. Next one. Mary didn't buy any, any, any flower. flowers. Uh, some flowers. Uh -huh. Some or any. So, recordemos, um, si, la, any. Si, si es positiva, si la oración es positiva, utilizo some. Uh -huh. si, la, sería si la oración any. es negativa o es pregunta, utilizo any. 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 La segunda es negativa. Voy a utilizar uh -huh. Any. Any. Y eso es para decir ninguna. Mary didn't buy mm -hmm. any flower. No compró nada. Ninguna no compró flor, okay? ninguna flor. <laughs> so, she was a little bit tight fisted. Okay. Uh, don't buy any. Any. Some, any. any pasta. We have got some in some the We have got cupboard. Don't any pasta. Any. We have got some in the cupboard. Thank you. Oh, Jennifer, I guess was the one. Okay, don't buy any pasta. Eso es negativo. Don't buy any pasta. We have got some in the um, cupboard. Okay, very good. That's what okay. Is, what, is what is cupboard? A cupboard is como lo que llamamos in the Salvador un chinero, all right? So, donde ponemos los trastes, como un trastero, okay? That's um, a cupboard. I'm sorry, I just needed to check. Yes. Okay, um, so, vamos a hacer estos. We are going to have just a couple more. I can see a tree, uh, I can see a house and... Some. Sarah says some, okay. Alguien tiene una respuesta diferente or do you agree with Sarah? It's some. some. Very good, okay, that is some, exactly. Because revisemos solamente it's que la positive. oración es positiva. Yes, there you got it. Okay, y estas son las últimas. There isn't any. 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 Very any. good. There isn't any water in the bottle. So quiero decir que ya no hay agua. Okay, no me quedo agua en la botella. There isn't any water in the bottle. All right. Next one. I can't find books. Any books about dinosaur. I Dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I can find. Esta es negativa. All right. So any. Voy a utilizar. Okay. Any. any. Very good. Uh, next one. Are there some, some, orange. some orange in the freezer? In the fridge. Oh, oh, oh. It was super big. <laughs> okay. You were doing orange. a good job. Come on. What? Come on. Come on. 
Okay. Uh, there isn't any Are water. There? I can't find any books. Esa es pregunta. ¿Qué usamos para preguntas? Any. Are there any, any. oranges? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Are yeah, there right. any oranges? Okay. Aunque algunas veces sí se utiliza some, okay? But here, vamos a usar any, okay? Algunas veces van a ver que dice, are there some? And it's okay, pero hay un propósito específico, okay? Um, just, mm -mm, some more. There are. Some, some pictures, some on, pictures the on the wall. Yes, ahora sí. There are some pictures on the wall. Very good. And that's <laughs> it. Okay, that's it pretty much. Let's take a look at your answers. So if you pay attention, I have some apples, but I don't have any bananas. Mary didn't buy any flowers. Don't buy any pasta. So cuando veamos negativo, lo más seguro es que vamos a hacer un any, okay? I can see a house and some trees. And the las últimas, there isn't any water. I can't find any books. There are, uh, are there any oranges? Okay. And the, there are some pictures on the wall. And pretty much that's it. Uh, preguntas, do you have any question on how to use some and any? <coughs> No. no questions. We're good. No. Any? Mr. Carrillo? No, no. Estaba activo el micrófono. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, everybody. So, this is just fine. Um, try to practice this. Okay. Uh, esto está ya en la sección número cuatro. O sea, significa que ya pasaron el midterm. Ya comenzaron con la parte de... Okay, hold on. Ya comenzaron con la parte de, de la sección número 4. Terminamos, mañana es el último día de la semana que tenemos sesión. Y la próxima terma, semana terminamos módulo. Así que por favor pongámonos al día con las actividades que tenemos, right? Um, si les falta algo, let me know. Si tienen problema con algún ejercicio que no les eh, quiere dar la respuesta, also let me know, all right? So, sí, porque everybody... hoy, hoy me partí la cabeza en cuatro. Con esa que le mostré. <risas> a veces es porque les falta una letra. All right, creo que ya les pasó a la mayoría. Les falta una letra, se les olvidó un Probé punto. las letras, probé los apóstoles. ¿Qué no hice? Yes, no I totally understand that. It is just fine. Mm -hmm. So if you have questions, please let me know. Thank you, everybody. Es, miss. Yes. Eh, eh, ¿A qué nivel de la plataforma tendría que ir para que, digámoslo así, no me dejaran atrás? Vamos ahorita por la número 4. Esto pertenece a la sección 4. So, okay. Pero si se fija, cada sección no le toma más de 15, 20 minutos máximo. Entonces se puede, ah, lograr, sí. se puede lograr bastante fácil ponerse el día. Ok. En so, una hora. En una hora se pone con las 5, de ser posible, las termina. So thank you everybody. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Nos vemos a las 9, primero de All right. So see you, have a good day, and happy um, Father's Day para los que ya son papás, you know. So, bye-bye, everybody. See ya. Bye. See you. Bye, bye teacher.